Hi, Steve from Steve M Outdoors here, and uh, today I have a little bit of a different video than usual, uh, rather than tip tricks or whatever. Uh, today I have kind of a bit of an editorial statement. Um, so if you're not interested in that, please feel free to go to another video, um, but you might find it of interest. Uh, and it's the topic of using drones in hunting. So the topic of ethics and hunting has probably been around since the first guy used a bow uh, instead of a spear, or a spear instead of a big rock, a big rock instead of a you know your hands, uh, and it's back again now. Not that it ever really leaves, uh, because uh, drones are continuing to grow in popularity. Uh, it became a th bit of a thing again recently, a topic, uh, when the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, the CBC, uh, ran a story quoting the Nova Scotia president of the Federation of Anglers and Hunters, basically telling hunters who use drones to learn how to hunt, uh, rather than using drones to chase and track prey. It's not that much of an issue yet here in Canada. Uh, several provinces have already essentially banned aerial, ve aerial vehicles, um, manned or unmanned, uh, to hunt or chase wildlife. Uh, but there are a province or two in several American states which haven't explicitly banned the use of drones. Uh, so that means that some people are using them uh, in that kind of gray area where they exist right now. So the use of technology in hunting has kind of always been up for debate. Uh, there are more than a few people who, you know, decry the use of firearms um, while hunting. And you know immediately that anyone who tells you that hunting is easy with a firearm has probably never actually hunted. Um, you know, and would only want to use some simpler things like bows. Uh, and yet, when a former varsity uh, javelin thrower used uh, essentially a spear, last year to take down a, a big game, I think it might have been a moose or something, uh, he was attacked on social media f by people who were opposed to using spears and such uh, for risking the animal being made to suffer had he thrown poorly. So it's one of those you can't really win. Uh, there are some purists who even jump on those who use trail cameras, uh, bait piles, blinds and hides while hunting. Uh, while I don't particularly care for those things, I don't utilize them when I go, uh, at least the hunter still has to go into the woods uh, and, and uh, do the hard work to locate these things properly in order to find their prey. Uh, drones, I have to admit, I can't get behind that. Uh, for me, hunting, be it with a spear, bow, rifle, involves actually tracking your animal on foot. It means doing the hard work uh, of going through the bush, rough terrain, awful weather. It means putting in the necessary sweat equity uh, to earn the harvest that you hope to enjoy. While I can see the use of drones uh, to locate wounded prey, because every hunter knows that you know animals don't always die immediately, and sometimes. They can run off even just a hundred yards and finding them is, is a pain at a short distance, let alone perhaps a couple of miles. Uh, but people who are simply trying to locate their prey without doing the hard work, or they're using the drone to, even worse, drive the animal towards them, uh, that's where I really have a problem with that. It might be an old-fashioned attitude, uh, but there still needs to be sportsman's ethics uh, when it comes to hunting, uh, where the prize isn't necessarily the harvested animal uh, at the end of the day, but it's the experience of the hunt. And from the animal side, I honestly believe there needs to be a fair chase, an opportunity uh, for the animal to use its evolutionary produced wiles and abilities to escape the hunter, uh, if they're able to, of course. Uh, an animal that's merely scared and driven straight into the shot, you know, whether spear, bow, or rifle, uh, isn't given that fair chance, in my opinion. 
perhaps I'm showing my age, uh, but the use of a drone while hunting kind of begins to turn the sport into a video game where skill with a joystick or a swipe of the screen is almost as important as shot placement. Uh, to be honest with you, while I personally enjoy a good game of Call of Duty every now and then, um, I can't see how someone would actually find that enjoyable. Uh, it turns hunting from a chance to disconnect from the modern world and reconnect with an older one, one that most of us have left behind, um, to sitting behind a screen. Uh, and like you do at home, like you do at work, like you do everywhere you're waiting and you pull out your smartphone and start twittering or playing word of mint, whatever it is that you're into. So tracking back to my opening statement, uh, though it's kind of hard to really draw a line as to what's acceptable or, or ethical when hunting. Um, is a hunter that shoots with iron sights more ethical than one that uses a magnified optic? Uh, is a crossbow less acceptable than a compound bow? Uh, is a compound bow cheating and you should only use a simple bow or even better yet, you know, a sling? You know, it wasn't that long ago that seeing an ATV in the woods was crazy rare. You know, now many hunters actually use them. Uh, and the libertarian in me is really leery of more government regulation of outdoor sports. Uh, we already have a confusing array of laws that regulate hunting. Um, Multiplying that, if you both hunt and fish, there's a lot of things you then you have to take care of. And we all know that an increasing number of laws aren't proclamated, good pronunciation there, with conservation in mind, uh, but with an ideological goal of limiting our access to hunting and fishing. Uh, a new story is about ethical hunting um, can carry their own ulterior motives. Uh, when it comes to hunting and particularly firearms, particularly with the CBC, which is no friend of firearms owners. So do I sound wishy-washy on this? Uh, if I do, it's because I can see both sides of this. Not everyone looks at hunting as a quasi-spiritual activity. You know, they look at it as a utilitarian exercise of putting food on their family's tables. Uh, the use of a drone to them is no different than a trail camera and an ATV. Um, it gets their prey to them, or them to their prey. Uh, for them, it's not an ethical issue, it's a question of a means to an end. So I can understand that. For me personally, though, I won't be using drones for some, for some of the reasons that I spoke about. Uh, I hunt not just simply to enjoy the harvest, but Sometimes I want to see less technology around me, not more. Um, I want to stalk prey through terrain uh, and try and pick up the subtle clues to try and figure out the puzzle of where they are. Uh, you know, and I want to give, honestly, the animal its fair chance at defeating me, you know, by simply eluding me or making it as difficult as possible uh, for me to harvest it. So for me, no drones. That's just my opinion on the matter. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching the video, and if you liked, you know, what you saw, please feel free to like the video, share the video, you know, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment below. Am I? There you go, I'm centered. At any rate, as always, enjoy the great outdoors. Take care.